Hey guys, welcome back to Off Grid Living in Belize. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna go over my solar battery bank system. Um, as some of you know who've been following the channel watching, I got a 5K EG4 solar system is what I'm running. I got a 20 kilowatt battery bank. Batteries that I'm using are the Polarium batteries. A lot of companies use them for the cell phone towers, what they use them for, and they replace them, you know, every few years. So that's what I got my hands on. Uh, I went with used batteries because here in Belize, the batteries that you're going to see in my video, if you were to buy them brand new here in Belize, they're going to run you about 3000 American dollars a piece. So batteries here in Belize, just like everything else that has to be imported, it's very, very, very expensive. So I was lucky enough to find a connection uh, with somebody who deals with the cell phone tower companies themselves and was able to pick up some really good used batteries I've had these batteries for about seven or eight months haven't had a problem with them uh, now buying them used to the guy that I went through they do come with a 30-day warranty which you know a lot of these batteries come with you know a lot more warranty than that but you know beggars can't be choosers so this is what I got uh, pretty much in this video gonna go over um, my battery bank system when the Sun goes down Everything is running except the AC. I don't run the AC after the sun goes down. So everything on these batteries that's running is everything but the AC up until about 10 o'clock. When it's lights out, my fridge is on a timer. That fridge goes off at 11 p.m., comes back on at 4. So the ceiling fans and the laptop charger, the, the cell phone charger, those are really the only things running at night. So uh, I'll give you an idea of what my battery bank system is, a full charge, and what it is when I wake up in the morning. So I hope you enjoy this video, stay tuned. All right, as you can see, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon here right now in Central America. As you can see, it is pretty much completely clear. Just a few clouds in the sky, but that sun is out in force today. So I figured this would be a great day to do a video on my battery bank, what my input is, and the uh, charge level on the batteries. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so it is one o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, my input for the day so far is 10.4 kilowatt hours. So it's one o'clock in the afternoon right now, bright and sunny. 10.4 kilowatt hours is the input so far. Doing 1.33 kilowatts off the solar panels right now. That's the input. Batteries are 52. As you can see, they all have a full charge. Now these are the Polarium batteries. These are use batteries they normally uh, use these batteries for cell phone towers and then the companies get rid of them after a few years um, I've had these for right at seven months now but these are the batteries that I'm using for the system which is right now 20 kilowatts backup battery bank is what I'm using right now and right now what I'm running uh, like I said it's about one o'clock in the afternoon Right now what I'm uh, running, you can see there's uh, 463 watts on line 2 and the 733 watts on line 1. I'm running the uh, fridge, ceiling fans, the air conditioner, uh, pretty much all the basic stuff in the house is on. So uh, we'll wait and see what the input is later on this afternoon. We still got about 6 hours before that sun goes down. So we'll see what the total input for the day is. Like I said, right now it's at 10.5 kilowatts for the input for the day. So we'll wait till the end of the day and I'll do another video and we'll look and see what the complete input of this EG4 system is for the day. All right, so it is about seven o'clock now. The sun is down. You can see today, I got about 13.7 kilowatts is what I got during the day is 13.7 kilowatts and right now 
the sun is just now going down so I'm only pulling in about maybe 190 watts as it's going down the battery is at 51.1 so that's what it is right now 51.1 and we will check it uh, before lights out alright so it is just a little after 10 you can see first battery four bars second four third four and the fourth still got five bars batteries are 50.1 it's at 10 o'clock at night 6.30 in the morning, first, second, third battery at three, fourth battery's at four. We're at 47.8 volts, so that was about, see from 10 to six, that's eight hours overnight. Not bad. All right guys, so as you can see, uh, overnight during an eight hour period, I dropped about two volts. So at about 10 o'clock at night, I was at about 49.9 volts. Uh, woke up right about six o'clock was right at about 48.7 so I uh, dropped about two volts overnight um, when I used to have the fridge run completely overnight and not on a timer where it's off for five hours every night it drop about another volt um, but I put my fridge on a timer and it's been even better putting the fridge on a timer because having the fridge off for five hours every night uh, I get no problem with the fridge being warm and nothing ever defrosts in the freezer. So uh, that saves a little bit of power. So hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what you can run off a 20 kilowatt battery bank. Um, once again, all my batteries are Polarium. They're all used batteries. Um, I paid roughly uh, about 750 American per battery is what I paid for these used. Uh, like I said, they only came with a 30-day warranty, but, you know, uh, as I mentioned previous, brand new batteries here in Belize are very, very expensive. So, um, hope this video was helpful. Uh, hope it's useful to some of you guys out there who are uh, thinking about upgrading your battery bank or wondering what you can run off of it. And uh, so, do me a favor, guys. Like, share, leave a comment on the video, and uh, have a great one, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank you.